Happy New Year to everyone from Red Wolf Airsoft. This is our first new products of the week update of year 2010. And we've got a whole bunch of great products to show you. First up is this Inokatsu M16A4 M5 with authentic markings from Colt. It's basically an extension of the current M4 model, but yet with a fixed stop, a much longer barrel with a much longer inner barrel, which means more power, and a much longer RIS rail that's really long. And it basically shoots pretty much like the last gun, like the M4, just with just as much kick. Let's give it a shot. Same shooting experience. Terrific. Whoa, this looks pretty crazy. What is that? Well, yes, apparently crazy feels very popular this time of year. This is a short outer barrel set for the Marie L96 from Lelax. It shortens by the, the barrel by over a foot, leaving only an inch left hanging outside the receiver, giving you a short overall weapon. And it comes with the inner barrel, though, still allowing for decent performance at shorter ranges. So for those of you who are feeling a little well endowed, you can actually cut yourself short a little bit. The mysterious new Beta Project brings us their new 130 round mid-cap PMAG for the armor lights. It comes in four different colors. OD, Dark Earth, Black, and Foliage Green. King Arms brings us their Magpul PTS style PMAG. It's a 330 round high cap in black, available in single purchase or in box sets of five. And now, exclusively from redwolfairsoft.com, with every purchase of a King Arms PMAG, we are giving away free 3M grip tape. GMP brings us their new M14 DMR. It comes with an OD, very lightweight plastic body. A liberal rail system adding rails to the side and the top. It includes scope mount rings and a scope, a low cap magazine, adjustable cheek rest, adjustable bus stock, and full length M14 barrel. For those of us who live in Crazyville and can't make their mind up between the AK and armor lights and decide to go with both at the same time. What do you mean? It's like parents who can't figure out if they want a son or a daughter and decide they want a hermaphrodite? Something like that. Okay. Action brings us this all metal conversion kit for your AK-47. It allows you to mate it to the front end of an armor light. It comes with the adapter to put on the receiver, a gas block, and the outer barrel adapter. And now, with the population of Crazyville jumping on the LiPo bandwagon, Madbull brings us their new take on lithium polymer batteries. These compact nunchuck style arrangement of three and four cell batteries come in 9.6 volts and 12.8 making them the most powerful airsoft LiPo batteries in the world at the moment. And careful, pay attention, for the Madbull LFP LiPo batteries, you need to use this specific special charger from Madbull. If you try to use anything else, you'll probably kill the battery and the charger, and maybe yourself. Magpul PTS brings us their new QD mount for the Magpul PTS ACS stock. Also, they give us this, the BAD battery assist device for ambidextrous manipulation of bolt release. And new from RD Dynamics is their red dot scope in the Seymour style. It's black, lightweight plastic, and designed to fit on high cappers. And new from GNP is this really cool looking site, very tactical. It's the uh, GNP EOTech style 551 site. Uh, it's a hollow graphic red dot site. But what's really cool about it is it has a built in laser system on the side, which you can activate on and off like this. Uh, we don't have any batteries in there right now, but if it did, this laser from the front would activate. So it serves dual purpose. You can actually target your sights using the laser onto your target or you can use the holographic site and it's brightness adjustable right here. Great value for money. It's really a hot seller so pick one up now. Maruzen brings us their P99 movie prop set. It includes the P99 with a threaded barrel, short silencer, a flashlight and battery included. It's a gas weapon blowback, operates on HFC 134. These things are selling like hotcakes so if you want one be sure to jump on the bandwagon quick. And relative newcomers Silverback Airsoft brings us their 1911 laser grips. They come in black, uh, OD, and also tan. And what's really cool about it is they come with two batteries that you can install inside the grip. And you can see there's an actuator right here. You can install this onto the gun. And you can basically activate the laser using your finger while it's on the grip. And since the laser is on the grip, basically you're, uh, it makes it much easier to align the laser with your target. And also from the geniuses at GMP, we have these novel little additions. Designed for the WAM4, we have this, the ambidextrous magazine release. Also, more interesting, we have for the WAM4, we have the burst set, which converts the full auto firing mode on your WAM4 into a three round burst option. Also from King Arms, we have this, brand new in, just in stock, 
This is a quick detach mount for bipods and QD slings. And new from King Arms is this new LaRue tactical rifle in 12 inch, 9 inch and 7 inch. Actually the 7 and 9 inch are currently on sale so check it out right now. But this gun is pretty nifty, I really like it. It's got a nice 12 inch rail system with a little neat reflective silver barrel on the inside. It's got a mod stock in the back with six positions uh, with uh, you know, little, little areas for holding uh, batteries and whatnot, you know, little compartments in the back here. And it's got authentic markings, both on the receiver and also on the rail. And it's got this little stubby uh, 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 grip up front and a little engraving here that says uh, live free or die. Kind of an interesting rifle with a lot of characters. So check it out at redwolfairsoft.com. And now to the flash hiding business, new in stock now. From King Arms, we have these 7.62 and 5.56 flash hiders with 14 millimeter anti-clockwise screws. And these, the GMP version, slightly smaller. They are 14 millimeter clockwise screw. They call them the Loudner version and the Silencer version, but the difference is mainly it's just the bore on the inside, which makes it a little bit more interesting with the two different variants. And for those of you who've been waiting for the SOCOM Gear M82, well, now your wait is over. The version 2 is out. Uh, we're doing this on pre-order. It should be arriving in our warehouse this week. Uh, basically, the new version has a spring-loaded spring -loaded, uh, barrel. That is a, it's a recoil barrel, just like the real gun. It's also got a monopod, which we don't have it installed here right now. But basically, the, uh, it's a fully licensed gun from Barrett. And the owner liked it so much that he signed his name on the certificate. And he's actually using these guns at trade shows, at real gun trade shows, because it looks so realistic. Pick one up now from Red Wolf. We're doing the pre-order, and it's very limited quantities worldwide. So uh, get one while you can. For these great products and more, do check out our website at www.redwolfairsoft.com. All right, let's see how this Inokatsu M5 shoots. And 0.2 gram pellets with green gas. Locked and loaded. So let's see. Keep in mind, it's really cold in Hong Kong right now. It's about uh, 15 degrees Celsius. So in warmer weather, this should clock quite a bit higher. And now I'm on red gas. Here I'm also gonna test the sound that this thing makes. I was just shooting it, my ears are still ringing from shooting it. So let's take the sound meter to it and see what kind of sound it generates. Okay, no wonder. It was generating about 107 dBs right next to my ear. That's almost as loud as a grenade.